Hi, I'm David McDade, the head of coach accompanist of Seattle Opera. And that's the opening of Darren Hagen's new opera, Amelia, which we're going to be performing next May in its world premiere. I was recently asked the difference between preparing Amelia and an established repertory piece like, say, Puccini's La Boheme. Well, that's maybe an unfair comparison. La Boheme, of course, you can get a score at the local library. It's an established piece, so everyone knows it. You can get a recording online. Uh, Amelia, there is no recording, but we do have a score. Now, I've taken part in a number of premieres over the past 20 years, and I've often had to read a score in the composer's handwriting. Some composers have good penmanship, Mozart, for example. His scores are legible despite their age and uh, there's seldom any doubt as to whether it's a B-flat or a B-natural. Now Puccini is quite another matter. His uh, sketches for the finale of Turandot were of course meant for his own use while composing the scene, which unfortunately he was never able to complete. Uh, nevertheless, they are a bit of a mess. And I find it amazing that uh, Franco Alfano, who completed the opera using the material in the sketches, could even tell what the material was to work with in the first place. Now, of course, we're in a new century, and we have a tool available to us that neither Mozart nor Puccini could ever have dreamed of, which is the computer. Uh, at Seattle Opera, we use a score writing software called Sibelius, which has been around since 1986, and for some reason is named after the Finnish composer. Um, with this, you can write music into score, extract parts from the score and print them up, and use it to produce this beautiful score that we have, which Darren actually directly inputted into Sibelius. Well, Sibelius has another nice feature. It can actually play back what you have inputted in. Uh, it can do that both for the piano score and more importantly for the orchestra score. Here's an example of what it sounds like. In the first scene of this opera, we see Dodge, the Air Force pilot, with uh, young Amelia, who's 12 at the time. He sings her this little lullaby. Asleep, Amelia, may you sleep enfolded by a perfect dream. You can see why Seattle Opera uses me for my pianistic skills and not for my voice. However, we do have a real tenor, Wesley Rogers, who will sing an excerpt from this, and then will segue into the orchestral realization from Sibelius. There's one final way that preparing Amelia has differed from preparing La Boheme for me, and that's that there aren't the same expectations. Everyone's heard La Boheme. We all know the tenor's going to hold the high C, the soprano's going to stretch that passage out a little bit. With Amelia, there's no expectations. We go to hear a fresh, exciting, original work. Uh, as Amelia herself says, anything is possible. I hope you'll join us in May for the premiere of this wonderful work. It's very special and you won't want to miss it. <laughs>